What an exciting day for Lubbock Christian University. We are so glad that you joined us here today in the Cardwell Welcome Center on the campus of Lubbock Christian University. It was about one year ago this week, actually, that we had a press conference very much like this, where we announced the appointment of Dr. Ken Jones as Chancellor of the University. That began a great adventure, which culminates in today's exciting news. Dr. Ken Jones was president of the university for 18 years, and uh, he is actually transitioning fairly well as a chancellor. <laughs> uh, please help me welcome Dr. Ken Jones for this great announcement. We really are delighted to have uh, each of you here with us today, and it is a very special, historic day in the life of Lubbock Christian University. I, uh, I think most of you are well aware, and by now certainly you're aware, that uh, about a year and a half ago, I went to the Board of Trustees and said, you know, I think it's time for you to begin to look for someone who would become the sixth president of Lubbock Christian University. And they returned to me very, very quickly and said, you know, would you be willing to be called chancellor right now and continue the CEO role until we find such a person? And then when we find the person, would you drop the CEO role and, and continue as chancellor? And of course, I was delighted to do that. And, and it, it's just been a wonderful thing. And so, they began the process. They began this uh, promise, been keeping the promise that they made to search for the one who would become the sixth president of Lubbock Christian University. Last Friday, uh, after a long process and search, and I want you to know that that was led, starting led by our officers of our board of trustees. I, Mr. Jerry Harris is right here, Mr. Sam Beard, and we call him Coach Larry Hayes. And uh, they're all such wonderful friends of mine. And they and all of our trustees who are here, many trustees couldn't be here. But they all met last Friday and the process was led so well and the search committee delivered to our trustees their recommendation. Our trustees deliberated, made a choice, later in the afternoon made an offer and that offer was accepted. And I want you to know that, that the person they have selected has tremendous credentials. Uh, it, it starts with the fact that he graduated from Lubbock Christian University, and that's really, really special. And his wife graduated from Lubbock Christian University, and that's extra special. His parents his parents were lifelong teachers at this university. He was involved in the student life of our campus, an athlete and other things. And he left Lubbock Christian University and went over to Texas Tech and entered into the School of Law and got a law degree at Texas Tech and practiced law for a few years and then went out to Malibu, California at a place called Pepperdine. And he joined the faculty of the School of Law there, and, and for 20 years he's been on that faculty of the School of Law, and for several of those years, at least the last five or six years, he served as vice, vice dean of the School of Law under the leadership of a man named Ken Starr. Now, some of you are going to recognize Ken Starr as the current president of Baylor University here in Texas. So he has, and there's so many other things you could say, but he has tremendous, tremendous credentials. But at Lubbock Christian University, it's about more than credentials for us. At Lubbock Christian University, it's about heart. And heart's really, really important to us. There have been a lot of people who have been praying and looking forward to the trustees naming a candidate who would have a heart that would really care about the people of this campus. I'm talking about faculty and staff, and especially students. Someone who would recognize how wonderfully valuable they are to what we do here. They found that person. They really found that person. 
And, and we had prayed for some time about someone who would come with the heart to recognize how important people around us are. We have a lot of people in our audience today who have just been really good friends to Lubbock Christian University, really good friends of mine. We have our mayor and city council members, and Tom, you've been such a wonderful friend to Lubbock Christian University and such a good friend to me. And we have bankers across the audience, and banks all over the city have been so good to us. And we have architects and engineers and real estate developers and you know, the list just goes on and on. We, we know on this campus we have to have these partnerships, and the partnerships have been so valuable. And, and we, we really wanted someone to come with a heart that would understand how special people around us are and our, how special our alumni are, and our trustees found that person. And, and, and most of all, we wanted someone, and we prayed for someone that would have a heart for God, I know in a lot of venues like this, people wouldn't talk like this. But you need to understand on this campus, I talk like this, and we talk like this all the time. All the time. And we believe that we have been so richly and powerfully blessed by God. I believe with all my might in the providential direction of God. I think Susan and I were providentially brought here 19 years ago. I think we've been providentially blessed throughout these 19 years, and I believe we'll be providentially designed and blessed into the future as chancellor. And there are others on this campus, you don't have to be called president, but there are others on this campus who feel the exact same way and know it's true. I know presidents have felt like that. Dr. Limley's in Germany, and he couldn't be here. But if he were here, Dr. Lindley would say, I was providentially placed here. And our third president, Dr. Pruitt, is here. And I know that if he were here behind the podium, he would say it was providence. The man the trustees have chosen believes just like that. He and his wife both believe that by the providence of the almighty God of heaven, they've been brought right here for this time. Isn't that something? It is a special, special thing. And so the sixth president of Lubbock Christian University has been selected. He is supposed to take office on June 1st. You sure you can't make that March 1st? I want you to know it's going downhill. I, it, it, the transition has already begun. Hey, Kelly Chilvey works with Warren on putting all these events together. She told me she placed five blue ties, LCU blue ties, in his motel room, hotel room last night. I said, what about me? She said, who are you? You know, it's, it's just falling apart. For me, not for you, Tim, not for me. So, I want you to hear me say that I am so excited about the future of Love Christian University. We, we have great, great days ahead. And I'm so grateful to our board of trustees, their leadership, their kindness, their friendship, and their wisdom in making this selection. And so my job at this time as requested by our Board of Trustees, is to present to you and announce to you President-elect Tim Perrin. Thank you, Ken. What a thrill. I'm just going to stand here and soak it up for a moment, if you don't mind. It's a great thing. This is homecoming weekend, and uh, this is a homecoming. And we are so thrilled to be here. I can't describe 
the sense of privilege, the sense of honor that I feel right now in being uh, given this great trust, the sacred uh, trust uh, to take on this role. And I'm so appreciative of each of you for being here, for the warm welcome and support we felt from the very beginning of this process. Uh, it has reminded us in vivid ways of the heart and the character and the soul of Love of Christian University. This is a special place. And uh, that's what has called us back to join in this great enterprise, to partner with you, join hands with you, and uh, move this great institution uh, forward, uh, building on the incredible legacy of leadership and work of Ken Jones and those who have worked with him. So thank you so much. I want to take advantage of this moment to introduce my family. I'm so thrilled. We've got at least uh, five Californians in the room today, and uh, I want you all to get to know them as quickly as possible. I'm so thrilled to be here with my wife, Lucy, a 1986 graduate of Lubbock Christian University. When uh, Larry, Larry Hayes, Coach Hayes, when we were talking about uh, this uh, at, the, uh, at the end, after the offer had been accepted, Larry said, well, now, Tim, I just want you to, I want you to understand. He said, we're excited about you coming, but we're a lot more excited about Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> and that just confirmed that Larry has very good taste in people. He knows what's best. I've, I've, I bask in Lucy's reflected glory, and I'm very thankful for that. My three kids are here as well, and I want you to meet them. So thr thrilled to have Hannah, my oldest, who's a senior at Pepperdine University. Please stand, of course. <laughs> Hannah's about to graduate in April and uh, venture off into the world, so we're excited about that. Sam, uh, our oldest son, is a freshman at Pepperdine. And my youngest son, Will, who's a freshman at Oaks Christian High School. Will? <laughs> Will's trying to figure out this transition from Californian to Texan, so he's uh, open for advice and counsel that any of you may have about how you go about that process. I want to start by just sharing uh, some words of gratitude uh, from me and Lucy uh, to so many here who have uh, made this process so uh, so pleasant, so meaningful, so uh, given us such a sense of the vision of this place. So thankful to the board. Uh, I'm so glad that several of them are able to be here and the leadership of Jerry Harris. I hope you know how much I appreciate uh, your leadership, the sacrificial service that you render for this institution. I've never had so many bosses, and I'm not sure what that looks like to have this many uh, people uh, telling you what to do, but I'm excited because I've seen uh, the great leadership that you've already provided. So thank you so much for your leadership. So thankful to the search committee, and uh, Sam Beard and I became very close friends through this process, whether he wanted to or not. Uh, we're texting buddies, uh, which I think makes us really cool. And uh, it's, uh, I'm so thankful for all of the members of the search committee. We just, Lucy and I, uh, after we had a chance to meet with that group, we just came away so impressed at the level of questioning. I mean, the kinds of things that are being asked, the, the, the depth of inquiry, the understanding of the issues confronting our education, the heart and spirit of that group was so powerful to us, and it spoke to us about what's happening here at this place. We know that Sam and Larry's leadership was so important in that group, so thank you so much for all that you did through this process. And finally, I just want to share a word. We'll have more opportunity to do this, but I want to say a word of thanks uh, to Ken Jones, Ken and Susie Jones, for their remarkable leadership in this place. I can't imagine you couldn't come here today uh, if you've not been here in the last 20 years and not immediately recognize the incredible impact that uh, Ken has had on this uh, place. Uh, Love of Christian University is a, a different and better place. It's always been a great place, but it's a different and better place today because of your leadership. Ken, for me, really embodies and models servant leadership, someone to aspire to be like. And uh, the good news is that He's still going to be with us. He's going to be the chancellor and working with the LCU Foundation and continuing to speak and represent the university in a very important ways. And that's good news for me. That's good news for you. That's good news for Lubbock. That's good news for all of us. So we're so thankful for you and your leadership, Kim. I'm so fortunate to have known all of the previous presidents of Lubbock Christian University. 
I have vivid memories of Harvey Pruitt in the field house twirling his baton as president at halftime of basketball games. I saw that more than once. And he was good. That was, that was what was so great about it. But what I have seen and witnessed, starting with F.W. Maddox, our founding president, is a sense of shared vision, faithfulness to a higher calling, a willingness to sacrifice for the greater good, the ability to see what the eyes cannot see, an appreciation of the unseen things. And those lessons that I have taken in from our leaders uh, have shaped and formed me. They've infused this campus with a certain spirit and character, which is palpable when you come on it. And, uh, and our family, as, as you heard Ken describe, is so deeply invested in Lubbock Christian. And this college and university have invested so deeply in our family. So I come to you as one who has been shaped and formed by this community. I grew up here, literally and figuratively. I grew up here across the street. And so many in this room, I see the Rhodes who are here, who I grew up uh, uh, admiring and being such close friends with their kids, two doors down from mine. There are so many here who have influenced my life. And so to have the chance to come back and to be a part of this place is particularly meaningful. My mom, who I want to introduce, who I'm so happy, is here, Elaine Perrin, please. My mom was a wonderful English teacher and a great member of this community and served in so many ways. She was a better mom, and I'm so thankful for her uh, service uh, here and, and in this community. Uh, and it's through seeing my mom and dad, and, and boy, I wish my dad was here today. But to see how my mom and dad embodied uh, the spirit of the faculty here, that students came first. You knew my dad, I mean, he spent most of his afternoons in the uh, sub uh, playing uh, card games or dominoes with students. He lived with students and loved being a part of their lives, and he influenced them for the better. My mom had that same ethos that informed her work. And that's a part of what's so attractive about being here and sharing in this work, is being in a place that recognizes that students come first, that our work is students, and that our task is to try to shape and form and direct their lives as happened to me. That's exciting. A lot's changed since I was a student here, but the attractive thing to me is that the important things haven't changed. The core values are the same. The vision for what this place can be is the same. I am a passionate advocate for the great cause of higher education. Christian higher education. Christian higher education. It's why I took my lovely Texas bride and took her out to California for 20 years to teach at Pepperdine because of the opportunity to be a part of a great Christian law school where we could serve and train the next generation of lawyers. And it's what brings me back here, to be a part of the great cause of Christian higher education. That transcends the temporal reality, that sees what can't be seen with the eyes, a place that passionately pursues student success, a place that's concerned with intellectual growth but also spiritual formation, a place that recognizes that you can't have academic excellence without also having an understanding of the transcendent values that make and inform us. So I'm passionate about this enterprise and so excited about getting to go along this journey with each and every one of you. I want to be a part of a place that pursues not just knowledge, but wisdom. A place that's not just interested in helping students find a job, but that's seeking to help them discern their vocation, a place that's trying to equip and prepare students for greater service in the world. That's exciting, and I am thrilled to be here. I'm looking forward to the official beginning of my tenure and looking forward to getting to know all of you uh, and, uh, and working and partnering with you. Go Shaps.
Mr. Jerry Harris, whom you've already been introduced to, is the chairman of our trustees. Been doing that for 13 years. He's been a great leader for that board and for this university. We've asked him to say a prayer of blessing over Tim, over his family, over this university. So, Jerry. Let me begin by saying that everything we do here at Lubbock Christian University, we realize that we cannot be successful at anything without our Father's help. So when we have meetings, we begin with a prayer. And we ask constantly for things from God. And we try to be real careful to make sure that we always respond with thanksgiving when he responds to our request. About a year ago, when we began this process, we in, in, enrolled about something, several hundred individuals who daily prayed that God would prepare and give Lubbock Christian University the next president. And, and God has answered our prayer today in Tim and Lucy Perry and coming to Lubbock Christian University. So I'd ask that each of you join with me as we pray and, and offer thanks to God and ask for God's help. Holy Father in heaven, we come before you with thankful, grateful hearts. Father, we have asked you to provide us with this president. And you, Father, have given us this answer to your prayer in Tim and Lucy Perry. We pray, Father, that you give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they might make right and wise and discerning decisions. And Father, as they follow you, help us to follow them. And help us to do the things here at this university that brings honor and glory to your most high and holy name and the most high and holy name of Jesus Christ. Father, we offer this prayer of thanksgiving and request for help. And we do so by the authority of Jesus the Christ, the one who's King of kings, Lord of lords, and high priest. But Father, we always pray and say, not our will, but may your good and perfect and holy will be done. Amen. Well, it's already been a great day, and uh, we've got a great weekend of festivities with Homecoming and Master Wise Weekend, so if you're uh, uh, up for the task, join us. We're going to have a great time. We um, uh, want the media to know that President-elect Perrin and Dr. Jones will be up here for interviews uh, afterwards. There are refreshments over here. Make yourself at home. We're glad you came. We're dismissed.